Ultimate Outlaw 50. Recent 50 laps for $7,078.78. There was a line up the road. There was. There was. I just told Jim I'm starting to get a little loopy. I'm forgetting what series we're racing with. It's just. I think. Actually, I'm gonna look. Take a guess. Take a guess with me because I've taken you to all of the tracks thus far this year. What track number is this for you and I? What track number? like track number 20, track number 30, track number 18, 17, 10. How many tracks have we been doing together? Pause. Give me your best guess. Hopefully I remember to tell you what is going on in my hair. Are you coming? You got to go. Yeah. I mean, I'll go. I'll, I'll fill in. We've got a good turnout tonight. 41 cars signed in. So uh, really strong turnout tonight. Just a quick lay of the land here for Outlaw Speedway for the heat races and consolations and also your hot lap groups. We're going to use the, the pit road here in front of these bleachers. So we are on track number 20. Yeah, we're on track number 20. Race number 40. Did you guess that right? If you did, you get a brownie point. ticking for some reason and they the Wagner guys are actually here they told me not to run it so
is the Adirondack Auto number 35, Mike Mahaney. Heat number two is underway. Ten cars, eight laps, five to qualify, three to the redraw. Mahaney gets by him for the fourth spot. Working down the back straight away now. We got double M. Michael Moreska in the last qualifying spot right behind him. This is the final transfer spot. He's trying to show a nose here to Mahaney for the fourth spot this time. Yeah, Moreska and Mahaney battle it out side by side. Michael Moreska to the inside of Mahaney will drive by. Here comes Tanner Van Doren. He's been having some good success on the short track super series of late. He's battling now with Moreska to make that with Mahaney for the last qualifying position. Halfway through, Van Doren goes after Mahaney in heat number one. We saw Brady Foltz miss the redraw. Mike Moreska staring that dead in the face as Van Doren still pressuring Mahaney for the final transfer spot. Up front, Alex Jankowski who picked up his first ever STSS win at Bridgeport Motorsports Park on... Moreska and Mahaney get fourth and fifth. stab it to get it to turn. I can't, it doesn't, it won't set in the corner on its own. Then it'd give it more drive and that'll help you turn in and give you more drive off. It looks yeah. almost like you were tight. Yeah, like I get to the end of the straightaway, I cannot turn, can't turn, I stab it, sling it sideways, and then it drives around fine after that, but it's better. You clean the race car, you know that? Don't show my wife this. <laughs> Anything that's broken, we can start. He'll fix it. He's the best. I don't think it's going to chunk or anything. It's just going to get hot. If it gets too hot, it'll give up. That's all. I'm just saying we want no foam in it. He had foam in his. <clears throat> Oh, okay, you can run a vent. Or just a cover. Oh, or if you're on a 48, to run a vent. Five minutes, so. It's been pretty hectic. Uh, not running the car we plan on running, and uh, Brian's being goofy in the background. <laughs> and uh, this isn't a track that I would pick a big block for, um, but do the best we can with it and get some spots and worry about worry about fixing everything later. Art. Oh yeah it is. Curly hair, love it. From the league. You having fun yet? I like those goggles. I need to get me some help pair. What do you what do you what do you? Well these goggles. Yeah. Put them on. Everybody can see how good they look. I was just shopping on Amazon because I need a pair. Yeah. Fly. At least you'll be able to see. So. I, your father couldn't see up there. I was the only one that was watching the race. I might need to use the shield again because I still can't find the goggles. Literally, I'm literally on Amazon shopping for goggles. Shields coming back out. Throw off 18. 18. 
have not stopped yet. They're working, they're hustling. Hopefully uh, Jolene, I think is who we have now. Hopefully Jolene just sends it to the front. We got 50 laps, 7,000 something, something, 78 cents to win. I'm letting dad pick our spot. Let's see how long he lasts over here. He's like, oh, it should be too dusty, right? Me? I don't know.
is out. tire on the 9S of Matt Shepard. Here they come. Pretty good. It was pretty versatile. I mean, I was able to use the top at the beginning, and then as that got pretty far around and pretty dusty, it, I had to move to the bottom. But then at late, I, after restarts, I felt like I could roll the middle. But after a while, it like start skating a couple laps after the restart. But yeah, it looked like it lined up a while, one or two, like get tight. It would what? Bind up in the middle a little bit, like get tight. Yeah, on the very bottom. You know, I, I feel like you're kind of on pins and needles. You got to drive it in straight because if if you hang it in, you just hang forever. So I was kind of driving it in like front brake and all that, right front on, and just plowing it a little bit and then and then rolling off. So sometimes I drive a push into it myself. I don't I don't think the car was really ever tight. No, I was just trying to keep it left rear down in the brown, and then it would drive off the corner good if I if I did that. The war wagon made it. Yay. Yeah, unfortunately we had a, a noise coming from our engine. 
on our primary car and uh, when they we d just took a while to decide are, okay, are we not running this and then finally decided okay we got to get the backup car out we can't chance it we can't chance you know expensive rebuild if it blows up or something so uh, we parked it get the backup car out and the backup car was set up for Albany Saratoga on Hoosiers so our uh, time trial was a little off because of that. It was pretty tight. Um, gear was a little off, everything, you know. And then um, we geared it up for the heat race, adjusted the ride heights, you know, shocks, spring rates. And, uh, had an okay heat race. Um, didn't, you know, didn't get the redraw where we need to be to, to be in the front. Uh, so that was tough and then you know starting in the back of the big block and in a short track race when everybody's 2400 pounds and we're at 25 uh, felt like a disadvantage but uh, we got some breaks you know we were able to get some cars on the start and then like the, the car worked on the top it worked on the bottom it was a little bit versatile and the, the uh, uh, you know, this car's getting flats at the end, so that got us some more spots. And, um, ended up with a 7th or 8th, 8th place finish. Um, and, you know, we are battling with the cars in the front, so that feels good. We had a better finish than we had at, at our last series event, so uh, it's progress, and it's also just uh, shows how hard these guys work and uh, have it, they have a no give up attitude. Um, you know, I really appreciate that. That that means the most to me that, you know, when, okay, car car wasn't gonna run, they, they didn't skip a beat to just hustle and get that second car out. And uh, um, I've definitely worked with uh, people that don't have that type of mentality and would just get frustrated and load up the home. Um, and that's okay too, everybody to each their own, but, uh, you know, this, it's pretty cool that these guys have the heart to, uh, keep digging and, and work for it. And that's, that goes a long way with me. Um, so appreciate all you guys. Um, everybody that came to help tonight did a great job and we, uh, came home with a pretty good finish. All right, time buckets full. Arts, arts, Ursi. Wow, pretty dirty again. This is gonna be another like busy night tonight. Four, another four Q-tip kind of night, Art. Sure, it was a busy, busy one. It was a busy one. Jeff, fine. You did great. Well, sometimes I need the adrenaline. That's true. That's true. Don't think about anything else. No, nothing hurts, right? Just you don't want to crash. Why are you <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Isn't that the damn truth? So, oh man. Um, Solid top 10 for a backup car. Not too shabby. Right. Hell yeah. I got all kinds of stuff everywhere. Uh, we're heading back to Cake Ferry this evening. Flash this girl up. I think, excuse me, they're gonna um, check out that other car and look at the engine on that. And then we have to head to Albany which is at least three hours. So we're gonna have to leave by like noonish. So we're gonna have a busy morning. I mean we, but then they're gonna have a busy morning. I'm gonna be editing the videos, but I'll still participate. Again, so. Maybe I just break. And I saw something. Um, so thanks guys, it's been fun. Oh, I messed it up, it's been real. It's been fun, it's been real fun. Sorry, we're just watching my backup right now. Just like you know, just that up on. Back up there that you set up. Yeah. You still got your top 10 or yes. eight or whatever. That's All right. a big deal. You see that? So, uh, I couldn't see that good, but I, I was able to see on the bottom. You know, okay. when you're looking for lines on the track. All the kids are in. Yeah. <sighs>